A former middle school teacher is accused of sexually abusing a child. We told you about this first last night at 11 and tonight we've obtained brand new court documents on the case. Katie Lusso is in Fauquier County with these brand new details to share. Tonight, new documents from the Fauquier County Courthouse give more insight into the allegations made against a former math teacher, 36 year old Caitlin Grimley. Court documents allege she sexually abused a child between May and September of 2018, that the child was 13 or 14 years old at the time, and that she knew the child. Fauquier County Public Schools confirmed to us Monday night that Grimley was a math teacher at Cedar Lee Middle School since 2009 and a math coach. They say she was placed on administrative leave on August 1st of this year, which is when they say they were first made aware of the allegations and that she resigned effective this month. We also discovered she was a member of Warrenton Baptist Church. I spoke with the pastor today and he told me they only learned of these allegations Monday and that they are quote committed to pray for the Grimley family through this ordeal. We also uncovered she volunteered through a group called Friends of Fort Liberté. It provides food, shelter, education and medical care in Haiti. Last night, she was listed on their website as a trip associate, but her name and photo have since been removed. I was able to get a hold of the chairman of the board of directors, and he told me over the phone she's a great person, but wouldn't elaborate and turn down an interview. Here in Warrington, those we spoke with horrified and shocked by the details in these documents. Disgusted. I have a 14 year old and a 12 year old. Do you send your kids every day to school and you hope that they're safe and you hope that they've been vetted properly, whether it's a teacher or a staff member or anything? I think it's awful. I think it's one of one of those things that's just um, a heartbreak for a parent. We reached out to the attorney listed for Caitlin. He confirmed he was representing her but declined further comment for now. Her next hearing is on April 25th. In Fauquier County, Katie Lasso, WUSA 9. You can count on us to stay on top of this investigation as it develops and check for updates anytime on our website and the free WUSA 9 app.